Edward takes a stand. The yard at Edward station is busy all the time, with trucks moving out nearly as soon as they're brought in. Sometimes trucks are boarded in the yard until they are needed. One day some cattle trucks were brought to be boarded in the yard until the cows from the pasture would need to be taken to the village on market day. Cattle trucks were known for being some of the most pleasant trucks of all, but the leader of these trucks, I'm afraid, was not pleasant at all. Easy! He bellowed in a gravelly voice to Bill and Ben as they pushed the cattle trucks into the siding. Don't you know how to shunt trucks properly? Bill and Ben were embarrassed. We're only doing what we're told, they began. Well, you're not doing it very well, are you? Besides, this siding's so cold and damp. Why not move me over there in the warm sun? He looked over towards the centre of the yard. We can't move you there. You'd be in the way of the turntable. The irritable cattle truck sighed. I don't care about your turntable. Move me there at once. There was no arguing with him. Bill and Ben reluctantly moved the truck, but were worried about what Edward might say. That's better, the cattle truck said, and looking at Bill and Ben, he barked, Off with you! Later that afternoon, Edward was on his way home with a heavy train. It had been a busy day, and he was looking forward to a nice rest. After setting down his trucks, he was frustrated to find the cattle truck blocking his approach to the turntable. What are you doing here? Edward asked. The cattle truck frowned. I'm enjoying the nice warm sun. You silly engines need to leave well enough alone. Nearby, Bill and Ben stirred, as if the cattle truck had been addressing them. Edward surveyed the scene and realised what had happened. Let's get one thing straight here and now, Edward said sternly. We were kind enough to board you here in our yard, but I will not tolerate you mocking Bill and Ben. Pah! I'll do what I want to when I want to, the cattle truck sneered. Edward gave a sly smile. We'll see how far that gets you. The next day, Edward rounded up the cattle trucks to be taken to market. The irritable leader truck was proving hard to move. You can't stay here, said Edward. Come on. No, the cattle truck protested. I don't need to carry any cattle today. I'm comfortable here, and here is where I intend to stay. Edward's patience was running very thin. You two, the truck boomed to Bill and Ben. Come take this old blue scrap iron away. Then it happened. Before he realised it, Edward surged forward and bumped the cattle truck so hard it rolled and fell into the turntable well. Bill and Ben broke out into a chorus of laughter at the sight. There is one thing you must learn, Bill said, and that's that you don't make Edward cross. Yes, Ben chuckled. He's old, but he still has a lot of fire left in him. The fat controller didn't think it was very funny. I'm surprised at you, Edward. I have a right mind to punish all three of you, he said. The three engines exchanged nervous glances. However, Bill and Ben told me that this truck was something of a bully. I do not approve of your methods, Edward, but I know that you were looking after the twins' welfare, and that is the mark of a really useful engine. Edward smiled. That evening, after Edward returned from the village, Bill and Ben thanked him for standing up for them, and then left for their sheds. Edward stayed behind to look over his yard. As he moved among the sidings, the trucks chatted to each other, giving a warning that they might end up in the turntable well if they did not behave.